It's good. Vince Young didn't even play, so you figure, well, certainly it's not going to be that. Back home in Houston, it was Kerry Collins, who uh, hadn't done well as a starter lately, but looked good late in a week ago. But early on, D'Amico Ryans, what a good look at second year linebacker he is at the five out. What a big game he had, Tom. Houston leads it 7 3. Meanwhile, while Young and Kerry Collins not happy, think about how Matt Stump the Shab felt. This is Cortland Finnegan. Good <laughs> luck of the Irish. His sprained ankle. And Albert Haynes. Oh, my goodness. The Shab injured right hip, so he came back twice, didn't return the second time. Meanwhile, my Baronis, Rob Baronis, kicked not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but in the first three quarters of the game alone, six field goals of 52, 43, 25, 21, 30, and 28 yards. So it's over. The Tex the uh, the Tennessee Titans lead at 32 to seven. And Shab is that in Sage Rosenfels. I mean, come on. Parsley, Sage, Rosemary, and time. Dave Anderson writes a column. The Bush is like it. President, Mrs. Bush. And then, 32-15, Rosenfels. This is Sage Rosenfels? Look at this. Where's he been? Kevin Walter, 40 yards. And then later on the drive, Rosenfels. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? To Walter! It's 32-22. They're stumping the shot. Houston at their own 12, but you can't have it all your way all the time. Keith Bullets had a big year for Tennessee. You know, he's an outstanding linebacker, always around the football, but learn to put it away, Keith. Put the ball away. Four, three interceptions, fumble, Rosenfeld, six turnovers, Houston in the game. And now, Rob Baronis, he can't make another one, can he, from 29 yards? Yes! Field goal, good. Ties an NFL record set by four others with seven field goals. And now we have a tie. It's a 35-22 game. And that Rosenfels, Dolan Daniels for a first down. Then Rosenfels, they're not done. Houston, I mean, they're down 13. Certainly they, Jeb Putzier is in it. Putzier into the end zone. And it's 35-29. to Vince going, wait a minute. Even though most of the people left, by the way, in Houston. Watch this. Onside kick. We saw it all day. Mm -hmm. We saw the teams that needed to recover. That's Zachary Giles getting it for Houston. Yeah, and you just see they had a chance to recover the football. They didn't take advantage of it. And all of a sudden, Houston Texans have another opportunity. Now, Rosenfels buying time. Oh, my goodness. It's a bomb. Andre Davis with a minute six left. 53 yard touchdown. Houston has taken a 36 35 lead. Yeah, and Calvin Lowry right there. You got to get up, try to meet the ball at its highest point to have even a chance to keep that catch from happening. So 29 points in the fourth quarter. Gary Collins now saying we got to play catch up football. Collins. Roy Dell Williams, first down, Titans. Then here's a big play. Collins. Nice, that's mm. nice. Mm. 46 yards out of the 17. Well, it's a great throw, threading the needle on the outside, throwing it to the outside shoulder and an outstanding catch. But eight field goals? We've never <laughs> seen it before in the NFL. Certainly, Baronis is going to miss one. Nobody kicks all. He does. It's an NFL record, and it's an amazing game. We don't even know where to begin. We hardly know how to end it. But it ended with the Tennessee Titans. Somehow, some way, the team that once played in Houston, coming into Houston, Jeff Fisher once coached there, and they win at 38-36 on Baronis' record. And Tennessee now, by the way, has three straight home games coming up. So they win on the road in a very tough division. They're four and two. Yeah, and I thought both teams, the Texans distinguished themselves by playing well. And the Titans win a football game without Vince Young. I think very important mm -hmm. for them psychologically. Absolutely, as we say with the home games coming up. But here it is for the record book. Rob Baronis, who already is in the books, is one of the longest field goals kicked in history. His eight beat. Three in recent times, Billy Cundiff, Chris Bognola, teammate of yours, Tom Rich Carlos, and we did it with Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the old straight on kick at Jim Bakken with the St. Louis Cardinals seven. They all began the day with the NFL record. They all end the day not number one in the record books. Oh my goodness, you think you've seen it all, and then you come to work and watch football.